So give me one for my money There's nobody, no one surround me Who killing them in the UK? Everybody gonna say UK. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kay and over here we do beauty related videos. And today, as you can see by the title, we are gonna be doing a review on this beautiful, gorgeous, voluminous hair from I Like Hair. So this is like a kinky edge wig. It's kind of new, innovative, and it's meant to make, you know, wearing wigs easier for you. You don't have to do all the fat thing about with the baby hairs. Like, you see what's going on? Like, it looks really good. You can really pull this wig back and just enjoy wearing your wig. So this is a very gorgeous wig in the sense that it is a seven by five closure. So in the construction, it is seven inches on the edges and it goes back five inches so it gives you a lot of part in room and it just gives that frontal look without having to be a frontal so you can literally just plop the wig on um i didn't use glue to install this wig i just put spray on and it was easy peasy like but anyway if you want to see how i installed this wig how i got this look please keep on watching so now we're gonna get into the unboxing portion of the video so this is what the hair came in i was surprised that it didn't come in a box but this bag is very cute and i tried to match the vibes as you can see so it's always given hermes vibes hermes hermes this is very cute so it comes with a little pouch a little cute orange pouch and in the pouch comes two clips i love using these to style my wigs it has an I like hair clip, which is super cute, and an edge brush, and a tail comb. I love these, I've been collecting these, and this will come in very handy. And two wig caps as usual. And last but not least, we have the actual wig. So, I have seen the wig before, because that's me, I always go and look through the wigs first. But the wig, my first impression is that the wig is very dark like almost black if not black extremely dark which is not necessarily a bad thing but we'll see how it goes um the wig is a five seven point seven by five closure which is very interesting i think that might be what i go for from now on it's like seven across and five down which gives you enough part in space and it gives you that like frontal look but it's still a closure which is amazing I'm going to bleach the knots off camera and then I'm gonna probably come back and do like a little, little styling on camera and then install the wig. So, see you in a bit. So I'm back and this is the wig, it is looking really good, it's like 80% dry so I'm going to install it and just let the rest of it dry on my head and then I'm going to come and show you the finished look. So here we go. So I'm not going to do the bald cap method, I've got like a wig cap that's pretty close to my skin tone and I'm just going to let that be that so i'm just going to give you another look at the um at the composition of the wig i forgot the actual word for it but yeah that is this that's the inside of the wig that's the construction there we go that's the construction of the wig the lace is brown which usually does bother me but this is um very close to my skin tone so hopefully it works out i am going to put a little bit of um, powder on the lace so hopefully everything goes well so good already oh my gosh so i'm not going to um use glue today i'm just going to use spray i've got the ebon on the lace wand and everyone is talking about this spray apparently the spray is the bang tidy i've used it a couple of times but i never really used it alone but because this is a closure it should be okay but yeah let's get into it get too much in the hair 
um, I should be using a blow dryer, but because I don't have one on me right now, I might blow dry it off camera and just like, you know, fiddle with it off camera, but this is pretty much how I'm gonna install it. I'm gonna let it air dry for a little bit and then I'm gonna put this band on it. But yes, the wig looks so good. Like, it looks so pretty. Ooh, it's driven now. So I will be right back once the wig is fully installed. Um, and then we'll cut off the lace together and we will play with the baby hairs. I'm really happy with how it looks, to be honest. I don't really have to do anything to it. Because look at that. That looks like my hairline. What? That's amazing. But yeah, see you in two seconds. <laughs> so I'm back. And um, it's been a couple of minutes. I am going to take this off. Hopefully it's all done. Feels, feels secure but I don't know if I'm going to be able to cut my lace here because I don't have a mirror in front of me I have a handheld mirror but I need two hands to cut the lace um I could try and cut it with a viewfinder but I feel like that is risky business so I'm going to go off camera cut the lace and then come back and show you what it's looking like and then we're going to wait for it to air dry then we're going to really style it and give it actually I might style it and then wait for it to air dry and then come and show you the final look but we'll see how it goes but so far it's looking good it's looking good anyway be right back so it's on and honestly it looks really good like you can really see the hairs on the side i can actually like lift my hair up like this and you won't see anything that is crazy that's actually really good oh my gosh so um now i just want to style it i don't really want to um over style it i kind of want it like this but i want a bit more of a defined part honestly it looks so pretty and i really don't really need to do anything to the edges at all because it just has this like very natural look to it how gorgeous is that so I'm just gonna let this dry and that is gonna be the finished look. So I'm back, it's been hours. <laughs> Hopefully it's dry now. It looks so good, like I'm gagging. It looks really great. Um, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put a bit of serum on my hands and separate these curls out a bit. My fingers all marinated. I still want it to be defined, I don't want it to be too fluffy, but I want more volume. So this is how I do that. It looks so good. I can already see the difference between this side and this side. So that is pretty much it. That is the finished look. And would you look at that? How stunning! Like, how gorgeous is this? Like even without the beautiful, beautiful baby hairs, the texture of this hair is just to die for. Like it's beautiful. And speaking of the baby hairs, look at that. Look at that. How pretty. So you can definitely like pluck them to your taste, cut it down to your taste. But I think it's pretty much a like you know put on and go wig. It took minimal effort to um, actually install this wig. Me, I'm an extra babe, so I did all the styling, but you can literally just pop this wig on your head and go. Like, look how gorgeous that is. I'm in love. But I like hair has never disappointed. Like, the last wig I have, people still ask me about it to this day, and that was like eight months ago. So, that's how you know that hair is always giving. But yeah, so that is it for today's video. Please feel free to ask me any questions in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'd love to see you in the next one.